G'day everyone, welcome to another RC Tanks Australia video. In this video I'd like to introduce you to our Komodo Plus board, uh, a new variant of the Dragon board that uh, now plugs into the flash port. Okay, all previous Komodo and Dragons used to plug into our IR port, right? So they weren't able to be used by IR tankers. Changed the design, uh, I'll tell you why later, um, so that now Drag, uh, Komodo Plus can plug into the flash port. So it's, it's quite, you do have to change a few leads around. Basically, your leads for your flash unit, you know, your flash unit here, uh, you pop them out of that 5-pin plug, you pop them into a supplied plug here, and that goes into your Komodo board. And then uh, this servo lead connection, you take those ends and plug them back into where you unplugged these leads from. But I will run through that in a, in a separate video. Okay, I just want to show you this in action. Also, um, with this particular version, it, it is, is featuring a gravitational disruptor chip. As you can see, it uh, floats here in 3D space, and you can um, uh, just adjust uh, the Komodo in any position you want in 3D space. So that, as I said, comes with our gravitational disruptor chip. Um, at the moment, uh, it's the same cost as a, as a normal Komodo, um, but you get this uh, gravitational disruption feature as well. Okay, so let's have a look at it in action. Let's turn our tank on. Now, because it's called Komodo Plus, the um, reason it's called Plus is because it is now being triggered by the plus signal, positive signal that is sent to the flash unit. So it is the flash unit that triggers the, the relay on here to stop the recoil, and then it's passed on through to your flash unit. Okay, so importantly, this is for all the new versions of, the, of Tagen and, and Heng Long where the recoil is triggered by the micro switch at the back of the recoil of the airsoft unit. Okay, so it is this connection here, this two pin connection that goes off into your turret to the back of your micro switch. Okay, so in action, let's have a look. Let's fire. Okay, as you can see, we had the flash, no recoil. The flash unit, I'll put that back in the screen and we'll fire. There we go. Now, if we were to um, say unplug the signal from Mako, um, you'll see that we have recoil. Okay, so there's our, our recoil, a horrible recoil that we're getting rid of. Okay, so we plug back in Komodo Plus. Okay, now because I've plugged it in, it'll go back through a startup program. Um, it tells you a few things. I'll, I'll probably run through that as well. It flashes a few times. Okay, so Komodo's ready and once it's back on there, again, we'll have our recoil blocking. Okay, so recoil blocking works. Now, this is the important bit. Your recoil must be triggered when your micro switch at the back of your unit uh, closes. Okay, now on old, old, old RX-18s, that wasn't the case, but the newer ones coming out now, they, the recoil action is triggered by this micro switch. Okay, so if you see, if I remove the trigger here from the micro switch, you'll see that, that a Komodo doesn't get a signal to stop the recoil. Okay, so as long as it is being, your recoil is being triggered by your micro switch, Komodo Plus will stop it. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if that sounds a bit confusing. I'll, I'll, I'll go through the second half of this video a bit more in depth or just to make sure that you get the right unit. But um, as I said, pretty much if you've got a, a new tank with a new Tajin tank or a new Hang Long tank, um, those, they've swapped over the timing to the micro switch and Komodo Plus will be the unit you need to stop the recoil. So I'll just stop here um, and in the next half of this video I'll show you how to um, make these lead connections up. 